Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick overview and my review of this thing here. This is the ISDT C4 Evo. This is one of their new chargers specifically aimed at the cylindrical batteries. So things like the lithium ion 18650s, 18500s that we use in the hobby, but it also supports AAA, AA, 10440, 10500 and loads of other sizes as well. Now I am getting more and more things in that use 18650s and 18500 cells in the hobby. Now the very first thing that I got in what, many, many years ago that I actually used these batteries was the little Fat Shark uh, battery adapter. And I still use that today. It's a very good way to keep those things in your pocket and have spare batteries so that you can get a full day's flying out of a handful of lithium ion cells. But to charge them, I've been using this no-name thing I got from eBay. And it works okay, but it's very slow. And I'm always nursing it. Just I'm a little bit worried about how resilient it is. However, I've had it a couple of years, and it's been working fine. But I saw this ISDT charger, and I'm a fan of the ISDT stuff. I thought, brilliant, finally, someone has brought out a charger that is going to work an awful lot better and give me an awful lot of feedback when compared to these things from places like eBay. Now, it's a little bit unfortunate that they've called it the C4 because it now shares its name with a high explosive. And is that a good idea when we're talking about charging batteries? But so far, so good here. Nothing's exploded. Now, looking at the specification for this, I'm not going to go through everything. I'll put a link below to the listing. Uh, you can get them from lots of different places, standard ISDT resellers. I uh, ordered this one from Banggood. It supports lithium uh, ion, LIFE, uh, LIHV, nickel metal hydride, uh, nickel zinc, I think as well, uh, any loop style batteries. It has a 320 by 240 IPS LCD. Uh, when you turn it on, it makes a very pretty noise. Uh, you can get four batteries in vertically and two of the larger 18650 batteries in horizontally. Fortunately, not at the same time. It is powered by a USB power type C. So you're going to need a reasonably high amperage for that type C connection. I'm plugging it into my ISDT D2, which I use on a regular basis, but more about that in a second. There is protection against plugging in your batteries the wrong way around. It is labelled which is the positive and negative end. Fortunately, that's just stamped into the plastic rather than being a different colour. And it did take me a moment to try and figure out which way round everything had to go. Charging current is 0.1 to 3 amps on the horizontal connections and 0.1 to 1.5 amps on the vertical. So on the horizontal ones, which are going to be the big 18650s, it will go up to 3 amps, assuming that you can pull that much out of the power supply you've got it connected to. It is firmware updatable and there's also some nice touches in here, like you've also got overheating and overcapacity protection as well. Now I've been using mine out of the USB output from my ISDT D2 charger. Now the D2 charger is still one of my favorite chargers and is sat by my desk and it's what I use to quickly charge a couple of packs if I'm going to go out for a quick fly. A shout out while I'm making this video, please ISDT everybody continue to put high amperage USB ports on your chargers. We need them in the hobby, not just to connect things like this, but also to charge things like uh, DJI equipment, GoPros, action cameras, pretty much everything needs to be charged by USB these days. So having a couple of high capacity, high current USB ports on a modern battery charger is pretty essential and so many have stopped doing it. The menus are very easy to use and navigate. Just pressing and holding the middle button gets you into the setup menu and you can change all the bits that you want. Again, I've been using it here with the 18650 and the 18500 cells, and I really like it. I like the fact that when it's charging, it gives you all of the key information, including the internal resistance of the cells, which is scary when you use the LiPo, and you at a glance can check exactly where you're up to and what the voltage is as well. So there's a lot to like about this thing. It's about $50 on places like Banggood, and this is going to now replace the charger that I have been using and be a companion for that desktop setup so that I can charge the lithium ion batteries along with my lipos when going out for a quick fly. 
Only a couple of things you need to be aware of on this thing. You need a decent current from that USB 3.0 port. Uh, it's rated at 2 amps on my ISDT D2 charger. So if I try and pull more than 2 amps, it'll eventually start to overheat and it'll shut down that USB output port. So when I'm charging two batteries like this, I'm limited to about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 uh, amps each and that's less than the maximum so it takes a little bit longer to charge polarity signs can be easy to miss it would be nice if they'd been embossed in white or something else i might go over them and uh, put a little bit of white paint in mine just to make sure that i don't accidentally do that although there is reverse polarity uh, protection on it so if you do get it the wrong way it isn't going to be a disaster and it is very quiet in operation i haven't been pushing mine at the full amperage it has got a little cooling fan at the back but it is very quiet, you almost forget it's on, which could be a bit of a dangerous thing, but it does mean that you can do other things while it's sat there charging your lithium ion packs. And only two 18650 cells at a time, but up to four 18500 cells if you have stuff that uses it. So thumbs up to ISDT for finally bringing out a charger that does lithium ion batteries. This is going to be on my kit list and it's going to be something that I use on a regular basis. It's nice to finally have a charger with all this information that looks and feels and operates like a very modern battery charger that we used to in the hobby that's more aimed at these kind of cylindrical batteries. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.